This video walks you through the WooCommerce customization settings in your MyPro powered website. So we have WooCommerce installed and a bunch of products created. We're on the shop page now. So let's customize. There's now a My Products settings. And here you can set a default banner image for shop related pages. So the, the main shop archive, taxonomy archives, um, single products will have this banner as the default. We can choose to hide the banner on the main archive. The shop is the main archive. We could hide the banner on a single entry, which is a single product page. And you notice we have a featured image on setting to use the featured image on the single entry. If this is unchecked, it'll use the default image but we'll just hide the banner altogether here. And now we have default layouts just for products. We're on a single product right now, single entry. So we can set the default here to small content or medium. Go back to the shop. This uses right now the archives default, but we can set it to something custom, which is medium content or any other one. And now we have custom archive settings as well. We can change the amount of columns, whether we want to display the featured image, how many products per page, and the type of pagination to use. So lots of customization options specific to products. And there you have it.